Hello guys. I'm starting off a new vlog. The last clip is Clark and I riding in the car. Um, and that was like the beginning of it, but here's me introducing it. Hi, I'm Brooke. If you're new, subscribe. I would love to have you. But I just got a new order in of clothes from Red Dress Boutique and I'm trying them all on and I figured I better vlog it and show you guys everything I got. Clark's about to cook us some dinner. We're having steak and mashed potatoes and I'm probably gonna make myself some mac and cheese because I always need two sides. We got a robo vacuum, that's something else you guys missed since the last time I vlogged. He's about to vacuum my feet up. Okay, he's like coming for me. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. I'm trying it on right now. This is the first item, it's this gorgeous dress. I'm obsessed with the color of it. That was one of the things that stuck out to me the most. But everything I got is from Red Dress Boutique. I'm always super pleased with the quality of their stuff. They're one of my favorite boutiques as far as quality goes. And I got two day shipping for $10, which was amazing. So this is the first item, gorgeous color, love the material, it almost looks like silk. And it is a like shorter dress, it's not too short though, which I'm very picky about because I'm tall. I have a hard time with boutique dresses being way too short on me. So this is a good length, very comfortable, very cute fit. Next up is another dress. I did get quite a few dresses in this order because I felt like I was just like lacking in that area. But this one is very cute, it's flowy. I thought this would be super nice to have to wear to weddings and stuff. Um, it's not too short, it's a good length. And it's just very simple, pretty conservative. Um, and yeah, just really flowy. It's The brand is UMG, but like I said, everything I got is from Red Dress Boutique. I do like this one a lot. It is a little bit almost like maternal looking. <laughs> But I don't, I don't hate it at all. Like I, I do like the dress. It's just something a little bit more conservative. But it's nice to have for like church or going and doing weddings or just like a casual day that I feel like wearing a dress and not picking out an outfit. So yeah, super cute. You could dress it up or down, but very like boutique feeling if you know what I mean. Next, I got this very casual but cute shirt. It's almost like a taupe green color, um, but it's super cute. This is what the sleeves look like. A nice v-neck cut, very flowy. You can tuck it into shorts or just wear it out and flowy like this, but I do really like this top. So this is the next item, and I do have a bra on. I would wear a strapless bra with this, but I love this dress a lot. It's a maxi dress. I do feel like it's a little bit see-through, maybe. Um, so I'd probably wear like a slip under it or something. Maybe not, because the straps. I don't know, I'm like, is it see-through? Because that's important, I wanna tell you guys. I feel like maybe not. Oh, does it have pockets? Oh, are you joking, it has pockets. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, this is a super beautiful maxi dress. It cuts a little bit higher in the front than it is the back, which I like because it doesn't make you look too, like, boxy. Um, this is beautiful. I really like this dress a lot. This is what the pattern looks like on the dress. A little bit of mixed pattern going on. It has a little tie here in the front just for some detail. And then I like how the neckline is pretty square. I think square necklines are flattering. Like I said, I'd probably wear a strapless bra with this. But this is a very cute dress. I like this a lot. So next we have another dress. I know you're probably like, oh my god, I can't believe she got so many dresses. But this one I would normally wear the strapless bra. So I don't think these buttons would be trying to separate like that. But I like how it has the thick straps. So if you did want to wear a nude bra, you could. Um, and then that's what the back looks like. This one's nice and flowy too, but it's not a maxi. It comes like in between the knee, a little bit above like mid chin. So it's super cute, nice and flowy. I think it's just nice to have like a white dress to wear. I can dress this up or dress it down. Um, but yeah, I would probably wear it more casual. Um, but yeah, super cute. Love this one also. Clark was not a huge fan of the last one and I'm like over here like, oh my God, I love this one. And then he was like, yeah, I like it, but I like the other ones better is what he said. So 
Oh, I'll give you another favorite. I really like this one. Another reason I chose this one was because of the color. Um, it's like this gorgeous royal blue. I think it's really beautiful. It just has like a nice flow to it. Very simple. Um, once again, very easily dressed up or down. But the big, big thing that sold me on this was the color of it. I did loosen the straps all the way. And it is doing like this little thing here on the side. Which is kind of annoying. If I tighten the straps that would probably go away a little bit. But... The straps are adjustable so that's a plus um but yeah this one's super gorgeous love the color of it i feel like this might be the same brand as the green one that i tried on feels very similar quality material and everything i'll have to look and see but yeah really like this one what do you think of this one i like that one too i like the color a lot yeah. i'm sorry they did that i don't know why they did that you burnt the steak Still looks burnt on the camera. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. It'll taste good. Do you like this one a lot or a little? I don't know why I did that. It must have been an olive oil. Yeah. yeah I like that one. A lot or a little? A lot. When I tell you guys, literally everything I got was dresses. Everything I got was dresses except for that one shirt. And I got a pair of shorts that I tried on that didn't fit. I'll show them to you in a minute. They were too small. I'm really sad about it. But this dress is amazing i need this in every color i can wear this to go shopping i can wear it to go eat i can wear it to go do weddings it's like super comfortable super simple you could like layer some really cool necklaces some cute shoes it is very comfortable and cute it has pockets and it's flattering so and I can't recommend this dress to you guys enough. It's not too short. I absolutely love this. This is like my dream dress because it's so comfy and cute and you can dress it up and down. Very simple. I'm obsessed with this. Let's go see what Clark thinks. What do you think? I like that a lot. Me too. It's one of my Me too. It's like super cozy and comfy, but like I can dress it up or down. Glad we agree. <laughs> okay, this last one I'm really sad about. They accidentally sent me an extra small instead of an extra large. And here I was bragging on them and how great they do. But this is like fitted because it's an extra small. It's supposed to be an extra large. It's supposed to be like a cute little t-shirt dress. Um, yeah, this is like ooh, way too short if I try to wear this. <laughs> And I wanted it to be loose and cute like a t-shirt dress. But I can tell it would be super cute if I just had the right size. I'm just sad because I really wanted it in time for the beach. But I guess this isn't really like a beachy dress. It's just like a casual t-shirt dress. But yeah. This is like a really light camo color. They had a few colors. Really like it. Material feels good and everything. Just need the right size. And I have one more thing to show you guys. It's some shoes. Okay. So just through this dress back on so you guys could see the shoes this is what they look like i'm gonna give them like probably a four out of ten on comfort they do feel pretty stiff um just the material that they're made out of but they are cute so they're white they're like a flat wedge um really cute i have a pair that's similar to these it's in black and i feel like it's just good to have a white pair they're a little bit like you can dress them up a little bit more, I feel like, when they're white or they just match stuff that the black doesn't. So, yeah. These are really cute. That's what they look like from the top sides. Yeah. Like, they accomplish the look that I was going for, just not the most, like, comfortable thing I've ever worn. Um, probably wouldn't go walk a long time in these. But, yeah. They're cute. These are the shorts that didn't work for me and they were size 31 so I'm really confused because I always wear like a 30 or a 31 sometimes but these I couldn't even get them buttoned so I think they run super small. I don't know if that's common with Levi brand. Um, I do feel like I have other Levi's so I don't know. I'm just confused but these are super cute. They were 70 bucks though. They're like really high quality shorts. Really cute. I thought they were going to be perfect for the beach. Unfortunately they don't fit though so I'm going to have to send them back.
Hi guys, I am starting off a new vlog and this is going to be mine and Clark's beach trip. So I'm so excited to be vlogging it for you guys. We just got here literally like an hour ago. Um, we stopped and eat once we got like in the town. We stopped at Whataburger, it was 10 out of 10. Just got to the condo and unloaded all of our stuff. I just unpacked all my stuff and I'm starting to realize like how ridiculous I am. The only person who can relate to me on how ridiculous of an overpacker I am is my friend Sarah Kate. I was gonna show you guys everything I brought and how I have it set up um, just cause I like to watch that whenever I watch other people's vlogs and maybe you will truly understand how ridiculous I'm talking about that I am by overpacking. I hate myself for it, but I literally can't help it. So here's what I brought. Let me just be clear too. It's not like I have like so many cute clothes that I'm like, oh, I need all these cute outfits. I just have so many what if scenarios in my head to where I'm like, oh, but what if I wear this and like I need a cute outfit that's casual and then I need a casual, casual outfit and then I need a cute, cute outfit as well. And then what if I decide to work out and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, this is all the shorts and bottoms I brought. Those are both like um, high-waisted jean capris. Um, and then these are all the shorts that I brought. One black pair every shade of denim you can imagine <laughs> and then I brought 10 pairs of shoes also didn't realize while I was packing this how ridiculous but I was like oh well I like to wear those with that outfit and sometimes I like to wear those so I'll bring both just in case I'm telling you guys it's I know it's ridiculous I really am sorry but I can't so these are all the shoes that I brought <laughs> um, and then this is kind of ridiculous if anyone lets me buy any more jewelry Please just don't. Don't let me buy more jewelry. This is insane. And what's sad is I literally never wear any of this. I wear diamond studs every day of my life. And like very rarely do I throw on a necklace. I mean, it's just, it's bad. So, but when I'm on vacation, I do. And whenever I have it all laid out like this, I'm more likely to wear it. So I brought way too much jewelry because it was all in a bunch of little bags. And then when I laid it all out, I was like, oh my gosh, I brought way too much jewelry. Speaking of jewelry, I bought this gem whenever I was in New York, and I forgot I had it. It was in one of my little jewelry bags. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful piece that I bought while I was in New York. Um, and yeah, it, just, it has good memories attached to it. So I even brought extra Apple Watch bands. Don't ask. Um, but yeah, there's my Apple Watch. And then these are the clothes I brought. So I brought like a bunch of the dresses that I ordered. Um, just some casual clothes, some, a few tops, some tank tops, t-shirts. I mean, honestly, like when it comes to the clothes, it is ridiculous, but it's not as ridiculous as all of like the toiletries and the shoes and the jewelry. That is where I get out of hand, so. But yeah, I brought a good amount of clothes too. Don't let me try to be humble. I brought two different pairs of sunglasses, my black keys, and then these key sunglasses that I also got. I really like, um... Yeah, you get the idea, but those are what they look like. I got my laptop so I can edit while I'm here and just kind of keep up with my footage. But yeah, so I'm using the guest room as my closet, clearly. <laughs> and then over here I have like all my swimsuits. All my swimsuits are, are in there and then I brought like underwear, socks, a couple t-shirts, a pair of leggings, like two pairs of leggings in case I work out. and sports bras and bras and things like that in there so that's not very exciting but he drove most of the way that across the hall is the other room it's got a really nice size bed big dresser clark has to unpack his stuff and then a bathroom over here and I went ahead and put my stuff in this bathroom. It's nice to have two separate bathrooms to get ready in, but I brought my shampoo, my body wash, shaving cream, razors, conditioner. And then I just set up all my skincare, my toothbrush. I bought a fancy toothbrush, you guys. Um, I got it at Target, it was like 50 bucks, but honestly, I feel like I should have bought it a long, a long time ago. It really feels worth it. Just like a body spray, lotion, dry shampoo, hairspray and heat protectant blow dry cream and i didn't have on a sweatshirt but i just changed because we at the beach now not in a car so we're about to go to the grocery store and get some groceries get some 
necessities and then we'll come back and maybe go to the beach and get ready and eat something for dinner tonight so yeah and we're in gulf shores by the way i think i forgot to say that i've not been here since i was little but i did come to orange beach which is super super close like two years ago and it was gorgeous so yeah oh here's the living room a little dining area kitchenette and the kitchen and i'm really excited because we have a washer and dryer and then we have tons of fridge space too so but yeah i'm super excited about this just in case you know So we just got back from the grocery store. I'll show you what we got. Some snacks here, peanut butter crackers. I got some oatmeal for breakfast. Um, I've never tried this kind, but I like the one I have at home with the flax seeds in it. So I got this, we got some chips, trash bags. The cinnamon rolls for breakfast, butter. I got some of these. I don't normally drink anything but water and coffee, but I have tried these and I really like them. I have not tried this flavor before, but the peach mango and the berry punch are good. Some Powerades, some drinks. I brought this champagne. It's rosé champagne. Um, this was a gift from my boss for us meeting a goal. And it's just been sitting at the house for like two weeks. And so I was like, I'll bring it to the beach. Maybe we'll drink it. Um, and then we got some cheese, lunch meat. Lunch bowls for snacks at the beach, sausage and eggs for breakfast, water bottles, Mountain Dew, and drinks. One thing I did not remember is like mustard or mayonnaise, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, mustard. Um... I forgot about that. I just thought of it. Okay, we'll get some mustard tomorrow. All of our sunscreen. <laughs> we came prepared. We are about to head to the pool for a little bit. Um, it's like almost six o'clock but we figured we will just go chill for a second and then come back and get ready for dinner yep this is my swimsuit the top is from dip and daisies and then the bottoms are from shein actually where's your swimsuit from belk probably bell walmart <laughs> Over here is actually the bay, and then on this side we have the beach. All right, I'm gonna try to show you what I wear every night, just in case you're interested. So tonight I'm wearing this black, like, uh, what's the word? Like silky looking, uh, what's this material? I can't think of the name. But just very loose, flowy tank tops with some frills. I got this at Barn Door Boutique in Ottawa, and then I got this necklace there and these bracelets there as well. My earrings are little like hoops, but they're octagons. I don't remember where I got these. Uh, maybe in New York. I can't remember. Um, and then my pants are like high, not high waisted, but like kind of high rise from Vici. This is what they look like and then I'm wearing these shoes. Yeah, that's my outfit for tonight. I just curled my hair, just added some curls in the ends, a little bit of hairspray because my hair never holds at the beach. And then for makeup, I did something super simple as usual, a little bit more coverage. I used the Fenty hydrating foundation instead of just like my tinted sunscreen, so. We are going to go get some food, just kind of ride around, see where we want to go. We're thinking about going to the hangout, so we'll see. Biscuits in the oven. Good morning. We are making breakfast. Clark's making breakfast. <laughs> I'm about to bake some eggs, so I am gonna help, but 
It's raining today, so we're just taking it easy, hoping for the best, but you know, still gonna enjoy our time. Regardless, I got to sleep in, I'm about to eat breakfast. It's a really good day. When I was like six and I wrote a song about like a chicken when I was like seven. So, Clark and I went for a walk on the beach, and it's cloudy out. It's kind of raining off and on. I think it's what it's going to be like all week, but I'm okay with it. I've accepted it. My lens keeps fogging up. I just threw on a t-shirt, but I'm wearing my lime green swimsuit. I love this one from Dippin' Daisies. It's super cute. I got it a little while back, but we are staying in one of Clark's friend's condos and it's actually on the bay and then the beach is like right across the street from us. The first time I've stayed on the bay but it's actually really beautiful. So that's the bay out there. We're thinking about maybe doing like a dolphin cruise or something one day because I love dolphins and just like going out on a boat on the water. So we might do that and the pool is right there. What's your good one? Birds? Oh. Just looking at the fish. Alright guys, night number two. I said I would show you what I was wearing every night, so I'm trying to remember. This is the one of the dresses that I got from Red Dress Boutique. It's long. Uh, I can't really see. But it's a maxi dress. It's super cute and it has pockets of all things. Necklace I got from a boutique in Nashville a long time ago. It was called uh, Jody, I think. Is that right? I don't remember. Um, this ring, I don't remember where I got it. Um, probably some boutique and then wearing these earrings um, Clark chose them I almost wore gold but anyways he said he liked the gray better so I'm wearing these earrings that Amanda Amanda's earring boutique on Facebook she's a local that makes them and they're really pretty and cute and lightweight wearing these shoes the white ones that I showed you guys I honestly wanted to wear a different pair but I'm wearing gold jewelry so I felt like they didn't go because they had silver jewels on them. For makeup, I actually did a little bit of lipstick. It's a nude. I'll have to show you guys which one it is. I actually really like it. It's um, like a lip crayon and a gloss over it, and they're both affordable. Curl my hair. It's not going to last, but I still did it. So, yeah, we're going to go get some food. I will bring you guys along, though. So, we just got back from dinner, and it was literally amazing. We went to... Mikey's seafood is what it's called and it was really really good I got a blackened redfish and they have like this special cream sauce that they put on top of it and it's over a bed of rice the fish was so good and their cream sauce was really good Clark got like grilled chicken with the 
similar type of cream sauce mine was just a little bit more i think like spicy but not too spicy and their house salad both of our meals came with the salad it was so good uh, but yeah, so if you ever come to Gulf Shores, Mikey's seafood was really good. It wasn't very crowded. It was like a little hole in the wall type place. Super, super good. So dinner was amazing. We decided to just come back to the condo. I, the movie Benjamin Button popped up in my head the other day and I asked Clark if he's ever seen it and he hasn't. And so I'm going to see if I can get it on this TV. I know it has like Netflix and stuff and maybe like rent it or something if I can't find it on Netflix. I don't think they have it. But anyways, he's never seen it. And if you guys have ever seen it, I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, so we had a really good day. I'm really hoping and praying and wishing for sun tomorrow, but we will see. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut off this vlog here because I connected it to my last one when I tried on like or some previous videos when I tried on all the stuff I got from Red Dress Boutique so I tried on all that stuff and then I started my beach vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and end this here because I edited a little bit earlier I've got enough footage and I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please ask them down below I really hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.